Okay, this is an update on my saga of trying to get a, Win a Dell computer and the problem with Windows 8 and all that. And it's real important if you're thinking about getting Windows 8 to know this stuff. And it's got a funny, it's got a funny storyline to it because God decided to get involved in this thing. Of course, I asked him finally. I spent half my time thinking on my own, and then finally I, I get over my brain fart, use 1 John 1 9, and go to Dad and say, Dad, what am I supposed to do? I always have computer problems because I'm always flunking the spiritual test when it comes to computers. So I have 22 computers, and none of them work right. They all have problems. And trying to buy a computer is always a problem for me because God's using this problem because I get so flaky about it to train me in the spiritual life, okay? So it's, that's the underbelly of this story. But there's a lot of secular stuff you can get out of it too, so just bear with me. All right, we left off where I was going to buy a Dell D630, okay? And this is the latest bidding on it as of right now. They're, they're selling them for too much. For what you get, this is an older processor. You want the newer one, which isn't all that new, but it's still better, the, the 9300, the Core 2 Duo. And you can go over here to Intel at arcintel.com, and you and right in here you can type in the, the processor name, and then it'll give you a, a printout of the processor so you know what kind it is and all that. All right, so back here is where we left off in the last video on this topic. And what I had said to you was I was going to buy a D630. All right, and that was as much as I was willing to pay for it. Um, but not even this model. The one that I bid on was this one. Okay, the configuration is 2.5 gigahertz, 4 gig of RAM, maximum population is 8. Okay. Now, I ended up deciding against this because the megahertz on this is only 800, which is what I've got now. And what I'm playing this, you know, recording this video now is on a Pentium 4. All right. Core 2 Duo is much faster. But the megahertz on the memory is still only 800. If you buy a new computer as of last year, the megahertz is 1600. So it's kind of dumb to buy a new computer or even a recent computer that's this slow. Okay, but Windows 8 is so slow because it, it likes to delay things in order to give you the illusion of, you know, marching across the screen because it's for touch, that, that its slowness would fit this, so I didn't really care. Okay, but I wasn't willing to pay more than $100 for it because you can get it in Amazon for $179. Although, I've got to tell you, if you're going to buy a used computer, get it from Dell. Well, you'll have to hear the rest of the story about that and make up your own mind. But anyway, that's where we left off. Okay, well, I changed my mind, decided I didn't want to do that. All right, the reason I didn't want to do that is because of the 800 megahertz speed on the memory. All right, so that took me down memory lane to get more latitudes to see which latitudes to get. And the one that I... Oh, I, it's not here anymore. Okay, the one that I was going to get is a 6510. A Dell 6510. It, it sold off now. But that was what I was going to get. And you can get the Dell 6510 here at Amazon, but I recommend you get it at Dell instead. Okay. And one of the later versions, but this isn't really as good as the others, is right here. Okay, selling for about 400 bucks. Now the one I was bidding on ended up selling for 400 bucks, but I rejected it also. Okay. Now that's what I need you to understand. That's where the storyline comes in. Is that is that I rejected getting this, the 6510. It's very different from the 6500. I rejected getting it because and here's where we'll I'll show it to you because there was another one here that had more RAM that was in the, my ballpark price. Okay, actually the one that I bought, it's still showing up here, but it won't be for long. This is the one I actually bought. I've already paid for it. Okay, this is second generation i7. It is not first generation. 
this one is still for sale if you want to get it okay this is the one I, I said no to because I this one is silver and this one was blue that's the only reason okay so you can get this one it's silver okay but this one is blue and I bought it already okay it's already paid for it's got 8 gig of RAM don't be confused about the slower gigahertz speed because it's second generation and it's quad core and it's got 1333 megahertz okay see the high hard drive and all that now this one like the like the D630 okay the D630 here this is the easiest to swap out hard drive you can get anywhere you just you just undo two screws you pull out the drive and then you can stick in a new drive that's the internal drive plus you can get a second one that you can install into your optical drive bay all right that was why I wanted this okay but this one is second generation i7 it's quad core and removing its hard drive its internal hard drive is just as easy okay so I wanted a later processor which was faster you are with me on that okay now I'm gonna throw the punchline in between the two in between the two from Dell directly and it took me three days to do it okay I'm typing it here in Amazon because I can't do it in Dell they'll show my account number in between the two I had bought this okay but it was on sale and still is on sale for less than half that price it's in Dell outlet it was on sale for less than half that price but this was a thing I bought and I am now canceling I already ordered the cancellation um, I want to say a couple hours ago that was what I bought but I bought it for like 600 bucks because it was it's at it's at Dell outlet now I really wanted this machine because this is third generation okay I didn't get the i7 I got an i5 um, I might have got this i7 I can't remember I th the 3520 should be an i5 designation but I got this one okay maybe I got a slightly different processor but this is third generation Ivy Bridge I bought this I bought it at Dell I finished the sale last night okay but then I discovered today that this machine this particular machine unfortunately requires is has a default setting of raid on the raid is on it okay let's see if I can find that yeah here we go I don't know if my machine is gonna die okay these are the specifications okay and where we got system setup is where I need to go okay I don't know if you can see that too well I'll open it up a little if I can okay yeah all right let's do one page nope come on no there we go look at this this is the stupidest thing on the planet their default configuration and setup in the BIOS is RAID ON see RAID ON now why is that so bad because if you've got it remember it's Windows is already pre-installed when you're buying the computer from Dell you can get it without an operating system but generally you don't want to because it costs two hundred two hundred fifty dollars just to get the operating system okay when it's pre-installed if this is the default setting you have to completely reinstall Windows if you're gonna upgrade to Windows 8 because Windows 8 needs the setting to be this I was buying the machine in order to use it as a an experimental machine for Windows 8 well but then I'd have to undo and redo Windows 7 and as you might know when you get pre-installed software from Dell or anybody else all you get is the recovery it's not a total reinstallation 
And the reason why is because that they're required to sell it that way. Okay, but you need to do a complete reinstallation to do ACH, AHCI with Windows 8. In other words, if you bought this machine and then you downloaded your Windows 8 or you went to install Windows 8, you wouldn't be able to make this change without a whole lot of hassle and maybe having to buy Windows 7 all over again. And of course the same thing is true of Vista. The machine is hard coded in the hardware like this. And I wrote Dell, you know, I wrote him back and I said, you know what, I placed this order with you guys last night. It hasn't shipped yet. Cancel the order. And this is why. Now if they call me back and they say, hi, we changed it so that this is not the default, then I'll take that machine too. Because I'd really rather have the machine I bought. The 6530 is a better machine. It's got a lot of extra options on it that I really wanted. Especially it's got a numeric keyboard. See? Uh, this one won't show it, I don't think. Um, no, it doesn't show. Okay, well, it's got a lot of really neat features and pictures. It's really easy to, to make changes in this thing. Here, maybe you can see it from here. Uh, they give too small a picture. The 6530 has a dedicated keypad, okay, which I really wanted because I do a lot of number crunching. And um, this particular version doesn't show it. Uh, let's see, 6530 setup guide. Yeah, that'll show it. Okay, see, look. Oops, that's the 6430. It took me months to learn everything I'm telling you right now. Months. I've been doing this research just to try to buy one laptop. See, it's got, it's got. A dedicated keypad. If you're doing a lot of number crunching, you need that for 15 six inches. It's a really neat little machine. I really like it. But if the RAID is on, okay, if the RAID is the default is on, that's not going to show here. If the RAID default is on, then this suddenly becomes a bad machine because it won't work with a Windows 8 upgrade. And why would you want a laptop to be in a RAID configuration in the first place? That's dumb. Every time you change the configuration, because Windows needs to know what driver, you have to reinstall Windows to change the hardware configuration. That's really stupid. They should have like a tic-tac-toe sequence. Like, okay, yeah, have it be RAID as your default, but if there's no RAID drive installed, then just automatically default to AHCI so that Windows 8 can work with it. They ought to know that in a computer that was just built six months ago, like this one was. But they didn't. So I said, nope, don't want. Okay, so now we come to the punchline of the story. The punchline of the story is that actually this was the machine I wanted. But it wasn't available until today. See how God did that? He knows I'm having a brain fart. He knows he's using this to train me and I flunk every minute on the minute, using 1 John 1 9 every minute on the minute. And then he knows that I'm going to have to return the machine I bought yesterday having spent all day trying to purchase it. I spent all day on the Dell Outlet website, which is totally dysfunctional, trying to purchase the 6530 I just showed you over here. Okay, this is what I tried to purchase at Dell's website yesterday. It took me all day to finally purchase it. There were all kinds of problems with the website. And I was kind of like, well, you know, is this a sign from God? I shouldn't buy it. Probably was a sign from God, okay. Because, <laughs> showing up today after I'm so upset and ticked off about this one not working because of the RAID problem, I go into Dell Financial Services here just for fun of it to see if I could find another 6510 because I had bid on a 6510 here in Dell Auction and, and I gave it up and it finally went for $400. I had bid on one and I gave up at, at like an hour ago. And then I thought, oh crumb, I lost it. Okay, I wonder if there's another 
you know, 6510. And I came in here, and this was like, you know, 40 minutes ago now. And here we are. There it is, right there. And it's exactly what I wanted. I didn't want third generation um, i7 or i5. I wanted second generation. Okay, it, the side is slow partly because of the camera recording it. I wanted second generation, and above all, I didn't want silver. I wanted blue. Okay? I wanted blue. I really wanted red, but hey, honey, I'll take blue. Okay? I wanted second generation Intel Core because the third generation hasn't been tested enough yet. Okay? I need something that's a little more dependable. And above all, above all, I wanted the full RAM population. So now, for the price I paid for the 6530 over here, because I paid $600 for it, that's what I paid for it at Dell's outlet yesterday. For the $400 I lost on the one I could have gotten, but you know, I let it go. That was only 4 gig of RAM. This one with 8 gig of RAM, the total cost to me, including some of the savings because they give you free shipping and everything, it's the same as if I bought the machine that I bought and will be returning, but fully populated. In other words, I'm paying the same price. Only I'm getting what I really wanted, which is a second generation i7 quad. And I wanted it to be a color top, either red or blue. And, you know, all this other stuff. With the 8 gig of RAM, that was especially what I was looking for. Because I want to install a dual boot with 64-bit windows. Now, what's the moral of this story, honey? Okay, God provided this machine for me. And he timed it. He timed it despite my failures. He timed it despite my brain fart. Okay, this is what it looks like on the inside. Okay, which it, it doesn't have the keypad, but I'll live without that. I have one I can plug in. He knew about this. He knew that I would want the, the 8 gig of RAM. He knew that the cost would be the same. He knows I'm anal about that. Because as far as I'm concerned, I'm spending his money. He knew all that. And I went through unbelievable amount of angst just to get here. And he knew all that. So if he's doing this to this believer's life, and let me tell you, honey, there ain't nothing good about me. What do you think he's doing for you? See, I told you there would be a punchline at the end. Peace out.